Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to show you all everything you need to know to get started writing code in C Sharp. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. I'm going to tell you why you need to learn C Sharp. C Sharp is a very flexible language. We can use C Sharp for all sorts of things console apps, web services, games, and if you're an aspiring game developer, C Sharp is definitely a language you want to learn, along with C++, but why not learn both? And the average salary for a C Sharp developer, if you have some experience, is $63,000 per year according to Glassdoor. If that all sounds good, let's begin. To code with C Sharp, we'll need an IDE. That's an integrated development environment. Think of it as software that helps us write other software. One that I would recommend is Visual Studio Community. So you can just Google that, then head to this URL at the top here. Okay, then we are going to download Visual Studio and just follow the installation procedures. So let's open this and run it. So continue. And here we have a bunch of different packages that we can download. You'll want to check .NET Desktop Development for using C Sharp. And if you're interested in using Unity, you might as well just download this package too. Then we are going to install. You have the option to sign in, but I'm just going to click not now, maybe later. You can also pick a color theme for your IDE. I'm going to go with dark because I like to feel like a pretend elite hacker. Then start Visual Studio. Now with this home screen, we'll continue without code. I'll show you all how we can create a new project. All right, now to create a new project, we'll go to File, New, Project. Select C Sharp Console Application. Next. We'll need a name for this project. I'll call this My First program next then create all right now this font size is very small you can either zoom in here down at the bottom or you can change the font as well as the font size by going to tools options environment fonts and colors and you can change the size here what about 18 and we should be good and here we have a small program that was created for us automatically all this does is display some output the words hello world to compile and run a program, you just have to click this green play button at the top. And this will create a console window that displays our output of hello world, whatever we have written here within quotes. And this line of code is known as the main method. It's the entry point for where our program begins. And this set of curly braces after the main method is the body of the main method. So our program will begin by executing any code at the top of the main method and it will work its way down and execute any subsequent code that follows. So this main method is made up of a bunch of words that we don't quite understand yet. Static, void, main, string, args. In time, we'll learn what each of these words mean, but that's more of an advanced topic. So a textbook that I read once said to think of the main method as like a magical spell or incantation that we have to say in order for our program to run. So let's see what happens if I remove the main method. I'll still keep this line though, console.write line, hello world, and let's try it. Okay, so it looks like there were build errors, so we cannot run the program as it is now. So we do need that main method, and if you are missing it, you can just type it in, and it should work now. Now this is a standard write line method. Whatever text that we put within quotes will appear within our console window to display as output. So let's actually change it. Right now it says hello world, but let's type something else. So make sure that this is within double quotes. Let's change this to, I like pizza. And then run this again. So now my output should say, I like pizza. And then you can add a second line of output just by writing console dot write line, then within parentheses and within double quotes, you can write something else like, it's really good. And now we have two lines of output. I like pizza, it's really good. So to write output to the console window, you type console.writeLine, then within quotes, some text that you want to write. One thing that you may want to change is the font and the font size of your console window because right now it's very difficult for me to read. So to change that, right click in the top left corner, go to properties, then go to font. Let's increase this to maybe 28. You can pick a new font style as well. I'll keep it the same. Then you can also change the color scheme too. I'll change the screen text to maybe green. Then, okay. All right, but now this window is huge, so let's change that. 
So again, go to the top left corner, go to properties, then go to layout. Let's change the width to what about, I don't know, 50 and the height to, let's say 15. I think that should be good. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. And here it's actually a lot easier to read. I like pizza, it's really good. Oh, one last stupid thing that I wanted to show you all is how we can make our console beep type console dot beep parentheses semicolon. So then our program is going to beep when it reaches the end. It's not really important at all. I just thought it would be something fun to throw in at the end of this video. So that's how to make your console beep for some reason. All right, well, that's the very basics of C-sharp to get you started. In the next video, we'll cover more on output and comments. So I'll post this code to the comment section down below. And well, that's the very basics to get you started in C-sharp. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.